That was a pretty low percentage time to gank. As Faith wants to contest this top bird, he's going to really? go for it. Oh, he goes in and he gets punished by an easy double damage for Pycat. Maven look for an additional kill, though he doesn't have boots. And they could kill him with the one more raise. Can they get it off? Luo, Ooh, where's the misses. bash? Oh, unable to find it. Pycat just walks away. Time says there will be a jump in from Niqua. They're just putting a lot of pressure on the 430 early, though. He may turn this on, gets Ooh, the raise. Two. Three HP. Oh, my. Juan might die. Gets him last axe. Pycat How picks up the kill. How unfortunate for Team IG. <laughs> yeah, that what was else could go wrong here? We're going to try to make a go on Luo. Actually, that's pretty amazing. So he's even going to stack up this medium camp again. And another's medium stack. Gank on the top lane. Spirit Breaker's going to charge forward. Hits Get Ake. Gets another out. bash. There's your bash. One more. And oh he gets Oh, my the kill. gosh. This guy he's is got the a ulti. true lord. Oh, there's an ultimate from Lona, okay. though. But that's it does force it out. Man, this. For now, it looks like another little dance over the rune. Trying to make a move here with the Slark. Bash. Pounce on to Luo. And the Bash. Does he get one more? Give me a Bash. No. He gets bashed himself by Pycat. Turned on with the Ooh. appeal. He'll go down. That's some sweet justice there for Alliance. Ends up being a one oh, for one. Back. Now Chase is in. Here comes the Lina. Good damage. The Requiem for 430. Brings down one. He might get Pycat as well. Uh-oh. This ain't good for Alliance. Stuns there. The buyback from the Spirit Breaker. Not even needed in the end. They clean house. A double for Faith of all heroes. And... More importantly, a death on both cores for Alliance. Anticipated coming. Actually, the gank is going the other way. Spirit Breaker coming in. He's got ultimate as well. He's not going to bash the line. Oh, Great hex. No. Oh, well, might cost Dake's life, though. He gets the leap seated. They get some vision from the plasma field. Out comes the nether strike. Kill secured. Now the overgrowth Loda. Able to dark pack that one off, but he's already used he's his own. He's giving up too much damage here. Nearly needs to retreat, and now with the tomb still getting dropped, Burning's going to have to turn his attention to deal with that. Meanwhile, Loda diving behind the tower. He's almost killed off the entire squad by himself. That was just so damn tanky. They kill the tombstone with the stolen damage and Radiant might even be able to turn this fight. Double raise, one oh plank. Oh, the leap. <laughs> Loda put it on his Nikes as he retreats yet. out. Turn on to Luo. They need a bash here. Oh, they'll get the charge instead. And now they begin to sap up a bit more damage. A nuke, a raise, oh, a plasma so field. They snipe him from range. Oh, that was so well done. Trion barely walked within range of Chuan's, of somebody's arcane boots and got just enough to get the leech seed and guarantee the Undyne kill. If Undyne had a bit more mana. Hitting the tower. Oh, they're bringing in a little bit more, though. Luo coming in hot. Oh, Ake doesn't get off the hex in time. Then he gets bashed and bashed again. And will be brought down, thank courtesy of that charge. Another strike combo. Mainly a, a Western thing. Yeah, I think it's counterable by top teams. It seems like something they can deal with. Charge coming through. That's Pycat. Stun misses. He might live. Nope. He bashed. <laughs> Just for good measure. 430 misses one raise there, but that's okay. The cow's there. Good sentry position here. It's very likely he gets to hit by the behind. blinding axes. It still gets a bash. Push in the mid lane. Can Alliance contest this is the question. It's definitely going to be tough. They've got four in tomb, but the right clicks of IG are oh, decent. Not stun. again. Luo finds another. The bash, the stun, and gets off the egg. They can just uh, kill it, though. Yeah. Oh, man. Not good for Alliance. A death on the Phoenix. The egg wasted as well. Just not finding the opening so far. Let's well, try to make this. it go on 430. Mech was already used. Tombstone deployed, but he's just going to look for a TP out. He'll make it, too. Faith, Poppy, the Overgrowth to bring it back to safety. Even if they get this kill, it's only the Triumph Protector. Well, they will, but 430. Just great decision making under pressure. It's so fast. TPs out. He just immediately recognized. No stuns. Time to ball in. Charge comes through. This Pike cow, head. he's just everywhere. Laguna, stun, and no nether strike even required. Oh, man. I, Luo has been on fire this entire series. The, yeah. This time, Kevin, he's, he's set up nine kills out of 11 for his team, and he's looking for more. Barreling towards the mid lane, gets mad. There is a hex, but it's after the initial charge stun. Mad does have his ultimate, pops it immediately, but Lina's here for the follow-up. They need to focus this tombstone. Overgrowth? No, they're going to ignore the tombstone, kill the heroes instead. Zombies starting to stack up a little bit, but... Apparently no of no concern to IG whatsoever. Now they begin to turn their attention. Requiem's there, three dead. Alliance getting absolutely run over, and another charge! Luo again with the initiation! IG just crushing through Alliance. 11 of 14 kills. This man, he deserves a medal. How about a Midas? Is that good enough? <laughs> it's kind of a medal. <laughs> He's like, okay, I'm not done yet. Let me let me get back to it. Yeah, guaranteeing his late game farm, giving him more attack speed, which is more bad. Bottom lane a bit. Now he's going to turn his attention, though. He's charging onto Pycat. Gets caught out. Gets off the Whirling Axes, at least. But still, Laguna, another Nether Strike. And down he goes so quickly. Well-placed egg, but a little bit too well-placed. It's in the middle of IG. So in the end, not so well-placed after all. Burning 
joins the fray. They're going to focus the Tombstone as a squad, and again, the Overgrowth. Finding another pickoff, the Tombstone falls mad, in trouble, being pursued. They even bash Loda, oh turning back God. around. No, I'm going to have you instead. A little roasted zombie on a skewer. As I was IG just continue to beat down Alliance. Just by the, the smart mana. ultimate. They might get him anyway. Plasma Field pursuing him through the tree line. Chuan has a stun. Oh, they're going to find him. Nether Strike comes out. They get the vision courtesy of the Static Link of Burning. And, you know, yeah. I, it, you wait a couple of seconds, your camera's elsewhere, and then all of a sudden it, it may just be too late, I guess. The solo Trion ganks because they're so far ahead to charge. Oh no, through. that's a three hero charge. As though the rest wasn't good enough by Luo. He's going even deeper. He does get stunned up, takes a lot of damage here, but Burning just goes strong against the Echo. Bring that down on a mega kill. Still, the Spirit Breaker able to retreat, and it's Mad who gets pursued out. Here comes 430, and there goes Alliance. Three heroes buried six feet under. And they're just going to try to push this tier 2 without creeps. Uh, Multiple ways. Not only is it sapping damage from the troll, but he's also got a drum. And what the drum does is you can temporarily increase your team's attack speed, kill the egg a little bit faster. It's a great Phoenix counter, even on support oh, goes. Pycat, he wants that sweet, sweet revenge. He's hoping to bring down the Spirit Breaker, but now the Nether Strike. The blind effect will now end, and can they get this kill? He's going to go for a second charge to go with the first, and the bash! Give me another! He says Laguna. Oh, they don't need it. They get the kill anyway. Chuan barely escaping here. He's earned up. He's healed up by the tree. He will survive. Oh, what? They just can't catch a break on the side of Alliance. It looks. I think that's how the math works out. <laughs> Instantly. <laughs> just blows up. They're just that far ahead. Oh, yes. mad he dared to leave the base. He will pay for his sins. Quickly ravaged by Hachi. They are... This is like watching a cat play with a... A mouse who's had its tail and a couple of its legs ripped off. Right, there's just no stopping them at this point. Eh, he's just going to charge all the way top. I mean, why the hell not? Yeah. They're going to get a tier 1 tower, which is going to help a bit. But they have to immediately go back. And they got to defend. If they get two racks this early on, there's just no he, coming back from He that. just charged top, so a TP's to the fountain. <laughs> and then he just starts charging them to the fountain. Merciless Mad Cal Luo. He can't just give up. I mean, at this stop. point, Alliance have to know. this. Their, their goose is cooked. Barring a, an epic throw by IG. If they stop attacking for 20 seconds. Well, so much for IG even being slightly rattled by their travel delays. Yeah, no they showed up ready to play today. I, maybe the, there's an extra day for research? A couple extra hours for research, it was, I guess? It was a tactical travel delay, so yes. they could do a little extra research. All right, they're looking right. to go in. Well, they're they trying to make their jump kind of low. This he's is got a little BKB, though. BKB not being used. Uh, he gets bashed. Oh, no, okay. the tree's going to save him. Now the egg, but it's in the middle of everyone again. Focused down by IG. Requiem coming out. Kaboom! Whoa. Drives them all back. They're going to focus down the tombstone. Tries to deny it. Even the deny for Pycat isn't possible. Now the tier two, the tier 3 falls, and IG marching towards victory is 430. Goes in for a hex. Nice little pickup here to help focus heroes down. And well, it's Pie Cat he finds. Raise, one, two, gotcha. And now make it four heroes dead. They're going to finish off Mad. Alliance just getting run over. This was like a freight train hitting an insect, man. Unstoppable showing here in game number two. And their laning stage just went so well. And in the mid game, Alliance couldn't get any kills. There was virtually nothing they could do to come back. They just kept missing their kills, or IG was already set up for them, would initiate before Alliance could turn around, and that was a double gold advantage. I haven't seen a game like that in a very long time. It's it's one thing to have a 25k net worth advantage, but it's another thing when you're doubling the enemy team with that level of advantage. Yeah, definitely tough to come back there. They I, Maybe they were...